you're smart. That your casual conversation, even a short duration, can cover everything from science based to art. It's so obnoxious that you're kind. That you always have time for family and help out everybody, as if a million things don't occupy your mind. If you could be just a little less perfect, then I could say. Take these ones in there. That one and the pink. The ones that she tried on, those are the ones we got actually. There's another one that she tried on, it wow, was for Frozen, Elsa and Anna, but she had such a, a similar one when, when she was young. Are they still rompers? I don't know. Who is it? A boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I call them boom boom. So, we also got this pink one. The reason I chose this one over the other one, actually, we both chose, but the reason. I went for this one. I asked her to try this one. was because it's heavier. It's heavier. The other one was lighter. And it's so beautiful. And it's pink. I just love it. You know, we're in a cold season. So, my baby is sorted now. My baby is sorted. And I literally Bye. hates sweaters. So, when she puts on this, she won't have to put on sweaters. I'm going to just post her. There's even eyes, mouth, a cute mouth. I love it. So, Mom, I also got you this one because now when you're indoors, mostly this baby of mine sweats a lot, just like me. So, most of the like time, we don't do the was. heavy. As much as we have the heavy, whatever, put your it on. So, these light sweaters come in really handy. So, unless it's very, very cold, the July weather, or unless it's very early in the morning when she's going to school, this is what she needs actually to when wear I'm going at home. To school. Ah, and it fits you. It's just. It's not too light, it's not too heavy. I love this set on. So, oh, also got to be. That lady didn't have dresses, but she had amazing these trousers or whatever. You know, for us, we are dresses kind of people. Also like that. But this was so beautiful, and I was like, you can put on that even when you're chilling at home. These are also for sleeping. Mm -hmm. I wish I could get a matching set, but it's okay. This one is for sleeping. I don't know which cartoon this is. 
These are, uh, I don't know. But I got you these two too, so you try them on. Yay! I don't know why it's written boring. I didn't like that. It's not boring. Let me move it closer so you can see them the color. You see how beautiful it is. But here it's written boring. <laughs> why boring? And it's not boring, so I don't know why. Don't worry about it. I want to build up my baby's wardrobe again. When this girl was young, like I'm telling you, immediately when she was born up to maybe a few months, I used to take so much pride in dressing her. I used to dress her well. When she was weeks old and people were like, oh, you know, kids need to only just be in rompers. She was in rompers, yes, but also dresses a lot. <laughs> and these headbands, matchy matchy. So I want to build her wardrobe again. I want to. You want to swallow us? <laughs> I just want to build up a hood. I want to buy her very nice outfits. I want my daughter to shine. I want her to be beautiful. <laughs> Look at her, you are smiling. So in other news, we are done with the hair. I wanted something that I can have on for the next two to three weeks before I change again. I want to cook. I want to prepare dengu, that is green grams with the chapati. It's been so long. I think the last time I cooked chapatis was in January when I was at my brother's place. I've just been feeling so lazy and especially when it's just like me and Tali, I'm like, <laughs> why go through all that hassle for, you know, chapati is complicated. I, I mean, it's not complicated. Chapati is, making chapati is a process, so it's easier when you are you're making it for a lot of people, but we're still going to make it and the Taraji loves chapati, so that's okay. Hey guys, imagine it's the next day, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Yesterday, I removed this food from the fridge, the green grams, I wanted to prepare them with chapati. So immediately I put them here. I want to stand there, the lights went off. So my brother calls me, he's like, do you have lights? I'm like, no. He tells me that they also don't have lights, and it's not just them, it's like a... A lot, most parts of Nairobi or the whole of Nairobi didn't have lights. So I was like, there's no way the lights came back at almost 10.30. Taraji had even slept. I just looked for something else for us to eat. There was no way I was going to cook chapati and be needing the dough and in, in the dark. No, no. I just looked for something lighter. We ate and that was done. So today, <laughs> today is the day that I'm cooking the chapati. I've just finished uploading a video. It's 1 p.m. The video is supposed to go up today is Wednesday. I normally upload on Wednesdays and Sundays. Yeah. Sometimes if I have three videos, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. But Sunday 2 p.m. is a must. I really appreciate having the fridge. Because now I'm just going to warm to small, small food that I had left. And then combine them into lunch. Okay? Because I didn't, I didn't, this is rice. Because I didn't prepare the supper the way I wanted to. So I don't have lunch and I can't start cooking now. I wanted to show you this. I got this container, there are three in one. Okay, ideally I would have wanted this to be red, but this this blue is also so cute. It's not too dark and it's just cute, I don't know, but I think I love red and pink. So I bought these three. There's a place that there's someone in my estate who sells these things like almost like a, a small company. And their place is very they're very, very affordable. So these ones are selling them per piece actually, they're just writing them down here. This one was 180 shillings. This one was 250 shillings. This one is 280. So you don't even have to buy them as a set. I would have wanted one more like this one. But these are these are the only ones remaining. The reason I bought these ones was you see here, actually I wanted to add another one for rice. You see my rice is just here. Huh? Because I have one for porridge flour, for maize flour, for sugar. So I needed one for rice. And I thought of adding here, but I've always thought about having these ones that are boxed because I feel like one, they look cute, and two, most importantly, I feel like these box ones they take up um, less space compared to round ones, so they would fit well, and I'll be able to add another one comfortably. That's just how I feel. I don't know if it's in my head, and then I feel like they look cute. <laughs> so since I have three, I'm going to put one for rice. One for sugar, one for maize flour. So the one for the porridge flour will just remain like that, in that old container. But if I happen to get these ones again, this small one or the middle one, so I want to wash them and then change all these. Remember those walls I built? Well, baby, they tumbling down. And they didn't even put a fence around them. Remember those walls I built? Well, baby, they
And do you know something special about today? Today is Wednesday, May 17th. I uploaded my first video on YouTube on May 17th, 2020. So we are officially three years old. Three years of being on YouTube. Three years. Okay, I was just saying three years before because it was like a, a month to a week to. But officially, officially, it's three years. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Congratulations to me. I have done this for three years. In that span of three years, I have uploaded 253 videos no one can tell me anything no one can tell me anything on this planet i have worked hard i have put in the work my efforts are finally paying a lot of you guys are subscribing okay i'm so happy i keep checking i see the number has shot up i keep checking thank you so much guys who are the people who've subscribed from that video of my first youtube payment i didn't even know that the video was going to go viral me was like because actually I mentioned the amount at minute 8 and the video is 20 minutes. So I was like, ah, people would have already clicked off those want to know they've skipped. They've just watched that part. They're off. The video is now at 80,000 views. 80,000 views! And I have reached 5,000 subscribers. Within a month, I've gone from 2,000, I don't know if it was 2,400 or something, to 5,000 in one month. Guys, me had given up hope of ever have having a viral video. I was like, it's okay. I'm happy with the consistent growth because I was seeing consistent growth. And then, boof, this happened. Me, I didn't even know what to do because when I started my channel and when I was doing YouTube, I was like, oh, God, it would be so nice to get 1,000. To just see that mark there, 1K subscribers, and then to get monetized. That was my goal. So, actually, when I got to 1,400, 1,500, that's when I started being surprised. I was like, oh, yeah, it's still going up because for me, it was 1,000. 1,000 was the, was the mark. 1,000 was the goal. I don't know. And then I was like, oh, it's, it's going up. <laughs> it can be more than 1,000. And then when I reached 2,000, I think that's when I officially felt like a YouTuber. Because before I used to tell people, oh, I have a YouTube channel. I love making videos, whatever. But at 2,000 subscribers, I started saying, I'm a YouTuber. I am a YouTuber. I don't know. I just started feeling like, oh, I am a YouTuber. And then at 2,000, now 5,000, I don't even know what to do. That's why I've never even said things like, road to 2,000 subscribers. Road to 5,000 subscribers. Because I didn't even, I wasn't even aiming at that. Me, I wanted to be at 1,000 and then also get monetized. Those are the two things that I wanted. And I'm so happy and I'm so grateful for the newcomers. Thank you so, so much. I hope you also love my vlogs because the video that blew up is about YouTube payment and that's not at my regular content. I was just sharing that information, but my regular content is this. I do a lot of vlogs. I'm also bringing back my girl talk. I used to do girl talk where we just advise girls or whatever. I'm bringing that back. I'm bringing back my cooking segment. I am so happy, guys. I am so happy. <laughs> See you later i need to go and scream scream this building down yes These are my ingredients for cooking chapati. I started using sugar recently after testing other people's chapati with sugar. I was never a fan before, <laughs> but I use salt, sugar, cooking oil. I uh, I need with the so uh, salad, and then I use the cowboy to cook on the pan so that it appears yellowish. This is my pan, and I also use warm water for kneading. So I just mix all of them together. I can taste something better than the sweetness. There's an ache in my lungs cause I'm not breathing I break myself to pieces, test my patience Craving just a little validation When will I start feeling like I'm good enough for you? Only happy if you I'm done with kneading the dough This is how I normally know that my dough is okay When my hands are not sticky and they don't have also what is it called? The flour. 
everything is clean even here it's clean here it's clean so i'm just going to let it sit here for even 10 minutes as i fry the green gram sometimes i just cook it immediately sometimes i give it time i have no standard procedure but i want it to be as soft as possible so that's why i'm putting it in this clean shopping bag and then we continue the way i cook my chapatis is that i just uh, let the pan heat up and then i knead them i make them into those round shapes and then i put them on the pan to dry all of them because i'm just cooking a few and then after that then i go in with the oil and then i like cooking two two that's how um i'm used to it my mother used to do even three i can't do three but i used to put two two on a pan before me dying every second you ignore me now all my self-worth depends on you when did i become so desperate I become so insecure I hate myself so you can love me more When did I become so desperate? Break the mirror on my bedroom door How much longer can I do this for? Do this for? Scare the nerves Thing that I say is gonna convince me Need to hear it come from you Or I don't sleep I spend my free time wishing I was different No identities and no beginnings I don't know what I'm supposed to do When did I become so desperate? When did I become so insecure? I hate myself so you can love me more when did I become so desperate? Oh. Break the mirror on my bedroom door. How much longer can I do this for? Do this for? When did I become so So guys we are done the chapatis are hot hot but i'm telling you they just look yummy i've put aside taraji's chapati it's cooling so she can eat 
but this is how they came out i'm so proud of myself uh -huh. long time ago i used to be a pro at cooking chapatas my relatives would be praising me and be like oh when i come you prepare chapati for me and then i stopped preparing chapatis so i think maybe i forgot the skill somehow but i'm happy that i'm getting back to it i'll be cooking more of them because Chap Taraji also loves chapati and then i prepare them with these dengue green grams if my brother was here he would have enjoyed it so much better my brother and taraji prefers eating chapati with green grams compared to beef or uh, chicken or anything Good morning guys it's thursday so i am leaving the house this let me show you how i'm looking first of all i'm putting on this leopard print it's my friend who bought it for me the one who visited she's called gloria i give you guys Maybe I, I may lack other things, but not good friends. I have good friends. So I am putting on this leopard print from Gloria. And then this bodycon. You know this is me by now. This my famous bodycon. And then I wanted to put on makeup today. Let me, why am I bending? Why? Why are you bending? Why? Why are you bending? So I wanted to put on makeup. I've longed to put on makeup, so today I was like, I want to look cute. But you know what? I am going to buy skincare, so I need to go with my bare face. I've just applied coconut oil. I'm going back to Beauty Square. Guys, you saw me go there with my friend. I want to take my skincare seriously. That's why I even wanted to know my skin type. But again, I'm going back, and I want them to do a, the whole process for me again, from beginning, from my, from again telling me my skin type. <laughs> Okay, part of me hopes that they tell me I have dry skin. I really wanted to have dry skin instead of combination skin. Because combination skin means here you are dry and here you are oily. So sometimes here it's dry, here you are sweating, you know this part. And it's hard to get products for combination skin unless you go for consultation. Because when you go to the supermarket and I even ask the person, that person was uh, doing the consultation at Beauty Square. I asked them how can I know the products for a combination skin when I walk into a supermarket or a beauty store because there is no product that is written combination skin. It's always written oily skin, dry skin, and then there are some that are written from oily to normal. There's no, there's no product for combination skin. So if you like, if I have combination skin, it's going to be hard for me to get the right product unless I always have to go back to a specialist. You know, that's why I was hoping I even have dry skin so I can just be going on the oh for dry skin. Let's go. <laughs> Another thing is that I want to go check out the location where we'll be having our meetup because I posted the video yesterday. Some people have already joined this, the group. So I want to check out maybe one location that I have in mind today. I'll do the rest in the next maybe two to three days and then maybe in the next few days we'll decide on which location. So that's <laughs> So I'm here. The reason I've chosen this first place is because I know the owner. We've had events here for my uh, former place of work. So I'm here to just talk to the owner. It's easier because he knows me. So I'll be able to just ask him a lot about a lot of things. And then we'll decide as a group. DJ So I'm done, I'm just heading home. I'm happy with this place. It's not a new place, so I know it, I know the vibe, that's why I came here. But now we have to discuss this as a group. Quickly, because okay, Tadi starts with videos because I'm so excited. Look, I got guys. Hi, and I got this kitchen. Yeah, you hold I, that. 
key holder. <laughs> I can have it. I have my own and I'm very happy. <laughs> I went to that place. I talked to the management. I looked at the menu, decided on some things. So the updates about that I'll be giving in the group to the people that we are going with. They are the ones that are going to have the updates and then we make decisions. But when coming to town, I passed by Beauty Square. As I told you guys, it says... Thank you for supporting our small business, Beauty Square. So I bought one product, which is the Simple Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. There are two types of Simple Moisturizer. The first one is Rehydrating, and this one is Replenishing Rich. <laughs> so I bought the moisturizer. I'll switch off the ring light so you can see it. Yeah, so this is the Simple Rich Moisturizer. So I got this one at Beauty Square for 1,000 shillings. I'm going to show you other things. And then now, I'm showing you like this because of the light. They also give you this toffee. They gave us two of them. So I bought this facial toner at Dubois. <laughs> yes, they told me it's original. Let me just believe it. Because they said there are no duplicates of the simple products. Because I wanted a moisturizer, a toner, and sunscreen. I already have a cleanser. So now I have the moisturizer from Beauty Square. I have the toner. All of them are simple products. I also bought this body mist at Du Bois. This was 350 shillings. And then the last thing that I bought was this one. I wanted a body scrub. It's a sugar scrub. Sugar scrub is for my entire body. So this is all that I got today. Skincare girls, skincare gurus, welcome me to your Hey guys, so I was getting ready to leave the house. I'm going to look at another venue again for our event. Now, I was happy with this look. I don't know if you can see. I usually put together looks in my head. I'm like, if this one, if I match it with this, I was looking, for, I was going for a very light colored white things, okay? So together with this brown, it was matching with this. I have white sandals matching with the white skirt. Now, the problem is, look at, look at how everything looks good and beautiful. My makeup is good. The, 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 the top has refused. It's fitting me in a weird way. I don't know if it's trying to malfunction. It's pulling itself up here. And the way it's so beautiful. If I change this top, the whole look will look different. This is how I wanted to look today. Hey! Problems of being a girl. But the top has refused. And I wanted a top that reaches just, just uh, where my skirt starts. See? I don't want a top that covers this particular skirt. <sighs> my goodness. Let me go try to change. I might just need to do change the whole outfit. I finally settled for this. I don't like it as much as the first outfit, but it's okay. It's still cute. I was going for a clean girl aesthetics. Look at that clean look. Look at that clean, sophisticated look. You look like a billionaire, even if you're not. That's what I was going for. I didn't want a screaming color, but it's okay. This one is also good. So I want to leave the house. I'm going to check out another venue. Let me go here. And guys, I wanted to tell you something. <laughs> Yesterday, I was going to see Naomi. And I didn't... Kiki, I didn't tell you guys because I wasn't planning on vlogging. I was just like going to check up on her. It's just a normal visit or whatever. So, see, after my errands, I drove passed by her place. And then we spent some time together. Of course, we ended up vlogging because we are content creators. It just came. But I didn't... That should be in another video, okay? So, that's why you didn't see it. But guess what? She gifted me one of her perfumes, the Michael's Wood. <laughs> if you watch Naomi, you know that she reviewed these products. You know, she, oh my God. The way she's been raving about these perfumes and the way she smells nice, I was like, I also want. But I didn't ask, and then she just gave them to me. I think they smell so nice. This one is, is written Ivory. Ivory.
them all. Hi guys! <laughs> Imagine she's been kind enough, she's helping me oh, look for a venue. So there's this venue that we are looking at. You know, Angel, she invited us to her home, she's done with a beautiful house. <laughs> yeah. I'm helping this celeb for a place I, she can host and she can then, meet and greet her yeah, friends. Celeb! <laughs> Okay, so just having a good time, the environment is cool. By now you should have already subscribed to her channel. If you've not, please subscribe. I'm going to Where are you waiting in. for? Yes. So we need to go because of this copyright music, but yeah, we are just having fun. Ciao. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Guys, I came back home. Did some things, cooked in a hurry. I went live on YouTube. It's 11 p.m. I've just finished. I shared the link to joining my meet and greet group. And I realized that some people are having trouble joining. If you've set your WhatsApp in such a way that people can't add you to groups, they have to send you an invite, then the link won't work. You can't just join, okay? Because you have to receive an invite. The people who've experienced that, they've DM me on Instagram and I've added that. If you experience that, then just DM me on Instagram at Linda Mary K E, and then I'll add you to the group manually because the link won't work. <laughs> I just want to cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you I'm standing where you want to cuddle. So guys, it's Friday night. It's 11 p.m. I have to end this video here. I'm so tired. So you can rest. Then I edit it tomorrow after church, and then we watch on Sunday. So thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Now I'm Sana and see you in our next vlog. Bye bye. bye, -bye.